Regarded as one of the world's leading experts in cryomicroscopy, Dr. Hua Chu of the Baylor College of Medicine is unraveling the mysteries of the building blocks of life through investigation of biological nanomachines. He has pioneered single particle electron cryomicroscopy at the atomic level, allowing insight into viruses and their invasion of single cells. Ultimately, his research in structural biology has far-reaching impact on curing and preventing diseases. Beginning with his early research at the University of California at Berkeley in the 1970s, Dr. Chu pursued cryo-electron microscopy as the key to understanding biological molecular structures. And uh, so I uh, had a strong belief that electron microscopy has the potential uh, to reveal detailed molecular structure of biological specimens uh, near atomic resolution. So that was my PhD thesis was to uh, attempt to visualize single atoms, uh, isolated single atoms. Uh, so I think uh, we have been pursuing that ambition all these years. I think we are getting closer. My research uh, focus in the lab in the last 20 years is to attempt to realize the potential uh, of electron microscopy as a biophysical tool to uncover the molecular details of uh, complex biological vector molecule complexes. And the challenge has been, first we have to record uh, high quality images and through the evolutions of the development of the instrument by JOL, we have witnessed the, the, the improvement of the technology through the improved electron optics and also through a uh, better uh, uh, cryo stage uh, that has been developed both in JOL and other company. And then the second uh, hurdle in achieving our goal in visualizing high resolution structures of biological origin is to retrieve the three dimensional structure from the images. So the software development has a major thrust uh, in our lab in, in the last uh, 10 years. Because of his interest in developing a means for using cryo-electron microscopy for imaging structures, Dr. Chu took a different path from those using X-ray crystallography. When I was a graduate student, the idea of, uh, of keeping the biological specimen in a frozen hydrated state in a microscope uh, was initiated by uh, Dr. Robert Glazer at University of California at Berkeley. And he was the inventor of this idea but at that time, the limiting uh, step was the poor performance of the cryo stage. His research requirements were instrumental in shaping the technology that Joel uses today in its latest generation cryo stage. So in order to determine biological structures, uh, we need to have a, a technique that we can image the molecule of interest. So there are multiple techniques that can potentially accomplish the, the same goal. Uh, the most conventional technology is X-ray crystallography. But in the case of X-ray crystallography, we need to uh, crystallize the proteins uh, uh, in a very regular and highly ordered way. And the electron microscopy has the advantage that we don't need to make the molecule in the crystalline array. And so we can examine the molecule in a solution environments which are more mimic the situation like the molecule in the cell. So that's number one reason uh, uh, using a electron microscopy. The other reason uh, microscopy is attractive because we can take images because through the electron optics we can get really high resolution images uh, whereas in the case of x-ray crystallography they don't have a lens to focus the x-ray beam to form image directly. So as a result, our images contain so-called phase information, uh, which we can retrieve it computationally. So in theory, it can be a much more rapid and reliable way of uh, getting the structures. Advanced software and 3D modeling capability have allowed Baylor scientists to produce novel structural informatics on protein folding and insight into virus infection. Dr. Chu's lab collaborates extensively with researchers around the globe. In 2012, he was elected to the National Academy of Sciences, 
where his work will influence scientific policy in the United States. His influence is widely felt in this field, but his legacy extends beyond the reports, the data, and the collaborations to the students at Baylor College of Medicine. Uh, I feel my contribution to Baylor College of Medicine is to set up a graduate program in computational and structural biology and molecular biophysics. In his never-ending pursuit for higher resolution imaging capability, Dr. Chu is always pushing the envelope of research using the TEM. He has been key in the development of phase plate technology and has nurtured its use among researchers sharing his drive for exploring the frontiers of cryomicroscopy.